Hi, this is Ryan from Mission Darkness Faraday Bags. We get a lot of questions on different shielding solutions in the market and how well they actually work. There are a lot of different options that are marketed as Faraday bags or Faraday enclosures, and at times it can be a little bit difficult to tell how well they're actually shielding cell, Wi-Fi, and other signals. So we're going to run a test today. We're going to be using an app that we developed called MD Faraday Bags Tester. It's currently available for Android. We have a GoPro set up so we can see the app screens a little bit more closely, and we're going to test a metal trash can, we're going to test a small, cheaper type Faraday bag, an anti-static bag marketed as a Faraday bag, and then we'll be testing our bag. So we'll go ahead and start. We take the app, we click Start Test. It's a very simple app. You start the test, uh, run about 10 to 20 seconds outside of your enclosure, place it inside for the same amount of time, and then take it back out. And you should see a dip in signal strength. Right now we have about negative 70 dB in Wi-Fi signal and about negative 90 dB in cell signal. This is showing us that our Wi-Fi is more powerful than our cell signal strength. It's important to note that a lot of different solutions will block cell signals, but they won't block Wi-Fi. And it's important to block Wi-Fi because data, text messages, and even calls now are often placed over Wi-Fi. Okay, so our test is running. We'll place it inside of the trash can, close the lid fully, and again we're going to wait about 10 or 20 seconds for the signal loss to register. What we should see is a dip down, and if it works effectively and it's actually blocking the signals, we'll see it go all the way down to the bottom, and then when we pull it out, we'll see it come back up. This is just a standard metal trash can made out of steel, oftentimes used for EMP or CME, solar flare type protection, but we're going to see how well it works. It's been in here long enough, so we'll take it out, put the lid aside, bring the app out, put it over here on our GoPro to check it out. Now I just, I just saw the screen, I could see right away that it blocked cell signals, but it did not block Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was shielded at about 13 dB, while cell signals were shielded at 34. That was enough to block the cell, but the Wi-Fi only dipped just a little bit. So this is not going to block all signals, um, especially in scenarios with higher strength Wi-Fi routers, Cisco routers, and other uh, higher power ones like in an office or um, in an airport. Uh, this is just my home router, and it doesn't shield uh, or it doesn't um, have that much power. There's there's routers out there with a heck of a lot more power. So we're going to click stop and we're going to rerun another test. Now we've got our baseline signal strength at about the same that we had before. Um, I'm going to place it in a piece of paper. This is for um, the Faraday material so it doesn't touch the screen. It can act like a finger and close the app and then the app won't work. So we need to keep the app open. Then we place it inside of our Faraday bag. Now this is uh, this was purchased on Amazon. I, the brand is called Ska Direct. Um, it's a cheaper bag. It's about ten dollars. This bag can be cheaper because it uses materials that are not made out of um, as high of conductive of metals as more expensive Faraday bags. The conductivity here is less, which means the shielding is going to effectively be less. Uh, the materials used in our bags, for example, are silver, copper. Um, and we use more layers. Uh, we have to create a situation of conductivity and layers and use sewing techniques that fully block all signals. Um, and for that, the bags are slightly more expensive. We'll open the bag and we'll see how well it performed. Okay, um, I can see here we've got slight dip on both. We'll stop the test. We never actually lost signal strength on either Wi-Fi or cell, so we didn't have to wait as long in restarting it. Um, neither cell nor Wi-Fi in this scenario were blocked with this bag. Uh, Wi-Fi was shielded at 20 dB, cell was shielded at um, essentially an average of 0 dB. This means that there was really no cell uh, shielding whatsoever. So we can see that here on the GoPro. Alright, so this bag Red X's all the way down. All right, we are going to run another test here. We'll gain our baseline signal strength again for a few seconds. Then we'll place it inside of the paper. Put that in 
this bag. Now, this bag is marketed as a Faraday bag. We also purchased this on Amazon. This is by a company called Blackout Faraday Shield. Uh, there's other ones, um, Tech Protect, uh, anti-static bags. A number of them are being marketed as Faraday bags these days. Faraday bags is kind of becoming a loose definition. Um, we have decided really to, to characterize Faraday bags as about 50 dB shielding and above. Um, this helps separate high shielding, what we call really high shielding bags, from mid shielding or low shielding. Um, so the reason we say that is because we've tested this before. We know uh, we know the results. We'll show you here, and you could run this yourself. You can use the app and try it yourself at your house. Um, but there's a difference between a Faraday bag and an anti-static bag, which we see here, or Mylar bag. These are often called Mylar bags. Okay, so you can see the results here. We're going to give it uh, again about 10-20 seconds to regain signal. All right, we will stop our test. And you can see here, um, we are showing the cell signal dropping almost completely. Now the line that you see it at shows it near the bottom. It actually didn't drop 100% and that's why we're seeing the red X here on cell and we're also seeing that on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi shielded at 19 dB, cell at 0 dB, um, but overall it wasn't enough to um, actually effectively block both signals. So that's why we're seeing red X's on both of them. So this bag um, reduced the signal strength a bit on cell, um, a little bit more on, uh, on Wi-Fi, um, actually a little bit less on Wi-Fi, but not enough to fully shield. Okay, the final bag that we'll be testing is our bag. This is the Mission Darkness cell phone size Faraday bag. Now this one does not have a window. We have bags that have uh, windows. This lets you preview the battery life of the phone inside of the bag or device as well as confirm signal cutoff. This one does not have a window. Um, it uses four layers of high shielding Faraday material uh, which is enough to block Wi-Fi in all situations that we've tested, cell signals and other signals. Um, it has a pocket on the back side. This is pretty cool. This is a closable pocket where you can put a business card or an agency card to brand it. And then every bag has a unique serial number. Um, finally, it's got a ballistic nylon outer shell. It's extremely durable, uh, water resistant, abrasion resistant. Um, it should last a long time. So we're going to go ahead and start the test here. Give it 10 seconds. Put it in front of our GoPro here to show the baseline strength. Put it inside of the paper, paper inside of the bag, roll the top. Now this double roll closure mechanism, this is important. Um, serious Faraday bags have this because you need that double roll to make sure that all signals are blocked. Other Faraday bags like this one that we tested only use a single closure. It's just not enough to make sure that all signals are blocked at all times. You need that double roll. All right, I think that's long enough. Go ahead and take it out. Move our phone. All right, you can see it's starting to regain signal. We do see it dip all the way down to zero on both cell and Wi-Fi. Put it in front of the GoPro here to see. And then we'll stop the test. And all right, we've got uh, green check marks on cell signal on Wi-Fi signal and overall test results are 100% blocked. Now we can see that cell signal blocking was 31 dB, Wi-Fi was 53 dB. Now this is kind of really where you see the separation between um, an actual serious Faraday bag that's going to do 100% blocking and the other solutions on the market. And This is what we wanted to show you right now. 53 dB is not easy to achieve. Um, it requires special sewing techniques, special materials. Um, that's what you're paying for. Um, this particular bag here retails for around $30, something like that. Um, you're paying for uh, higher conducting materials and uh, these techniques. So we'll give it one more shot here. You can see that it fully blocked. And that's what our bags do. So don't, don't take our word for it. Go ahead and try it yourself. You can buy any of these things on Amazon or um, in different places in the market. Download MD Faraday Bag Tester app for Android right now um, or use any other technique that you have. You can text to your phone, you can uh, call it. 
and you can test it out for yourself. So I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, feel free to write them here or go to our website at mosequipment.com. Thanks for watching.